hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on uh, modeling a golf ball golf ball has got a very unique uh, uh, details on it so that makes the modeling of golf golf ball more complex so golf ball is spherical so obviously we we always think that let's take a sphere and then start uh, modeling it so the problem with the sphere is let's say if i select all these faces okay and then if i lay uh, extrude them okay uh, keeping keep faces together off and then extrude it further like that and then roughly smooth it and uh, not going too deep into the details what you are able to see is the size of this sphere and the center is way smaller and it's making it to into a radial symmetry on the top but golf ball doesn't have such placements so taking a sphere is obviously a bad idea so there uh, we can try another method maybe so let's see we will take uh, this one which is cube I, I could say there is no precise uh, way to actually deal with the um, golf ball unless until you have a photographic reference and manually build it that is the best way to do it whatever ways we have here are like uh, have certain compromises I'll show you all that so I'm just taking a polygon cube and uh, let me apply a mesh smooth there and then add divisions of two okay so when uh, or maybe I'll add a divisions of three uh, so you could able to see I've got this uh, spherical shape and then I got all the faces I'm going to select all of them press ctrl E and then extrude it then keep faces together off and then scale it like that and um, move it something like that and scale it more I would scale the last one to 0 0.01 and convert selection to vertices and then merge them like that so when you have completed it you get a decent looking golf ball but unless until you could generally go and see there is a small compromise here in terms of the size is concerned and you should able to see the size is becoming smaller here so this uh, size is smaller here and uh, uh, it's bigger on the other side but it's a de decent uh, model I could say this is uh, one approach you can you know use for modeling this I'll show you the other method okay the other method could be uh, taking a unique primitive so if you go to the polygon primitives we have this platonic solid and this platonic so solid uh, if you could see uh, have different types of geometry one is tetrahedron we got a cube we got octahedron dodecahedron and icosahedron so you can use any one of them okay and then add subdivisions there like that okay um, so the problem with this uh, dodecahedron is uh, it has got uh, very decent uh, sized uh, faces all around but when I am increasing the subdivisions that face is only dividing but it's not increasing the count and that's really concerning me um, radius only increases the size um, and spherical inflation works only when we have this uh, subdivisions growing up so icosahedron uh, again when I increase the subdivision it is dividing the same face and uh, spherical inflation makes it round so you can take that and uh, when I start increasing I get more small spheres if I go closer there okay these are all spheres and these spheres can be considered somewhere and there are so many lines uh, which makes our life little bit hard in terms of extruding face wise because if I select all of them and press ctrl E keep faces together off and then scale it all triangular, uh, triangles are scaling 
so what i have to do is at this level where i've got decent circles these lines are creating problem so what you can basically do is uh, you need to go one step back okay where the subdivisions are not there and when we have increased the subdivisions and uh, at this point so when I'm increasing this uh, I'm getting this uh, sizes okay so now what I need to do is I need to select uh, these lines here okay and uh, selecting these lines is a bit problem for me I mean I cannot select it easily uh, I need to laboriously sit and then fix things there okay so what we can do is we can go back few steps here okay at this point one way is this select all the edges I'm going to the custom shelf create sets quick selection set and add it okay so what I've done is I've uh, selected these edges next time also I can select them just by clicking that button there and it just gets selected after that you apply mesh smooth okay and then if you increase the division there is no point so one division is enough now if I select this one and it selects the edges which are running uh, along that and then you can delete them and this is fair enough model okay select all the faces okay and then extrude them make sure that key faces together is off scale the face and just move it outside make sure that that's spherical now extrude once again scale it move it in extrude once again scale it to 0 not 0 but keep almost 0 0.001 now that's the face I've selected now go to uh, select convert selection to vertices and then merge with the merge vertices not merge to center and then when you apply smooth you get the golf ball I just put white and this is what you have got okay one problem in this is the dots randomly one two three or at least five six bo uh, dots are way smaller comparing to the other balls other spheres 